That is not bacon sizzling in a frying pan. It is the rain. It's soothing and calming. I am no unboxed therapy, but I am unboxed therapy because it's already unboxed. So the Ultra Watch 2, helps if I have it upright, came in this box here. Flimsy cardboard thing that opens up like the other Apple Watches with the flap thing. Then you open it up like this, or rather like this. Beautiful ocean. Nobody cares about that. And inside, you get three things. You get your your book, high-quality booklet, kind of like when you're looking for a new car. You know, those fancy books that they have, you could just tell. This is really good because the regular Apple Watches don't, don't have this. It, like, explains everything. You normally have to go online. Whereas with the Ultra, you know, when you're spending 1300 Canadian, this is what you get. Next thing, I got the Ocean Band Orange. If your ocean goes orange, there's a problem. Beautiful envelope. Very sturdy. Again, this is like a stick-on display that explains to you the little titanium loop that you can adjust. Little leaflet paper. Very strong cardboard. That's where your little titanium thing or whatever clip goes. Your strap. You kind of have to pry it off to the each side. Otherwise, you're going to feel like you're ripping it out of there. And it's reinforced by some extra cardboard in there. Okay. So this is a good idea to hold on to if you ever want to resell the watch. The top, this box is crap. But this, this, just because it kind of helps seal the deal. And this. I mean, this is basically the same quality as an iPhone box. Okay, you got the tabs that you open there. Very, very nice. Even the picture here is kind of like 3D, like it's ribbed. You could feel it. Okay, so now we open it up. You've got the, you know, the groove inside of this box. And then this. So your watch will be in here. It'll be wrapped in this little wax paper looking thing that you more or less have to butcher to get the watch out of there. And same thing for the case for the charger. That one, when you open it up and your cord is right in there, I mean, you're not getting that little puck out of there without mangling it. But I, I still feel like it's worth holding on to. As for the charger, we'll get to the watch in a moment. It's braided. So it feels like a really high-end shoelace. I know that my $130 webcam is doing a terrible job at zooming in automatically and showing you all the little lines there. I don't have a 25K webcam. And it's USB-C. does not come with a charger. I bought a 20-watt fast charger from Apple for 25 Canadian. Okay? Now on to business. Okay? Oh, wait. That's not what I wanted to do. Epic fail. Now let's take a look at some watches while I... Turn off the light. We're going to give you a little bit of perspective here. So to my left is a 51 millimeter case Garmin Phoenix 6X Sapphire. That is the Ultra 2. That is a Series 5, 44 millimeter. But there's border and stuff that you don't see on this kind of watch face. So we're going to do something that most people don't do on YouTube is give you something that you can actually look at that's the same. Have them all side by side. Okay, you could see the difference in the size. And that black border, you'll see it better in a picture, but at least side by side, you could see that. By the way, that's 3,000 nits. That's 1,000 doesn't look like it's three times brighter but when you're outside is where it shines i think there's like a light sensor i don't know how that works but indoors it is brighter but it's not like oh my god 
if you turn this down to two out of three, you know how there's three settings for brightness? If you put that on two, it'll be as bright as this visually to the eye. Okay? And then there's the backlight on my Garmin Phoenix 6X Sapphire. It's still very nice and clear as it zooms in or focuses rather. It's definitely not a terrible watch. 51 millimeter case, 49 millimeter case, 44 millimeter case. Okay. Again, the watch band, if you look at it, yes, these are a little bit wider than your standard regular Apple watch that are the bigger size, like your 44 and your 45 millimeters. They're the exact same watch band. This one's going to be a little bit wider, but this one's even wider. I find this to be much more comfortable. <clears throat> you could probably get a watch band that's wider. You just get one that doesn't go in as much. That's just straight like the Garmin. Okay. Now I'm going to head on over to the computer in a moment. Just to show you a couple of things quickly. Again, to try to get that zoomed in. So you can kind of get a, a decent idea of what it looks like in person. It's not focusing well. I don't know how much more money I'd have to spend on a, on a webcam, but, you know, lighting and all that. It just it makes it very complicated. All right, let's put that crap away. And let's get into some technical stuff here. So, in the middle is a 44 millimeter case. That's like up to a Series 6, I believe, right here in the middle. A Series 7 to the left. Even though it's one millimeter bigger, from 44 to 45, look at that black bezel. Okay? You're getting a lot more screen real estate here. And on an Ultra 1 and 2, they're identical. You're only getting 0 0.2 inches bigger on the screen. So if you're just after the big screen, an Ultra 1 and 2 and anything from a Series 7 and up is literally the same thing. You can even see where the letter R cuts off there. R, you barely get the notch of the next letter. It's literally like the same thing. Okay. Now, give you even more perspective. So my Garmin Phoenix 6X is a 1.4 inch screen despite it being a 51 millimeter case. This is a 42 millimeter Series 3, I, similar to the SE, I believe, from the older generations. And this one's a 1.54 inch screen for the 42 millimeter. These are like anything from Series 4, 5, and 6 will be 1.78 inch if it's the 44 millimeter. And again, this was a big jump from the six to the seven. And now the eight and the nine. For the 45 millimeter case, you get a 1.90. The ultra one and two is a 1.92. So from a 9.90 to 0.92, that's literally zero, or sorry, 0 0.02 inches bigger. You can't tell and neither can she, okay? Now to put a picture behind that, three up to six and then seven. So this is series three, series four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You could see with an actual background, the same background, just how much larger that was going from that six to the seven. Again, pretend that's the ultra one and two. That's what you're going to get when you're looking at it. Okay, and if you're indoors uh, or somewhere where there's not a crazy or where there is a good amount of light, not too much light, you're not going to really notice that extra brightness. At least I'm not noticing it like it's there, but it's not there. If that makes any sense, let's go back to um, to the webcam with the with the light off. They're all they're all on maximum brightness again. It kind of it kind of focused a little bit straight on. So I'm very happy with my purchase. I do like the extra battery life, it being slightly brighter. 
it's one of those things, like I said, where in person you see it, but it's not like the older quote unquote weaker 1000 nit watches are, um, are like too dim, right? And of course, if you're into this, I'm still keeping this watch. It's amazing. It's got no backlight, right? Because it's just your regular memory and pixel screen, like regular LCD, I guess you would call that. As long as you get a little bit of light, you could see it. Or like I said, you just tap it. Still pretty respectable. But again, you could even tell like the white from there and the white from the OLED. I mean, it's not nearly as bright, but it still looks really good. Like that, that's actually a pretty good focus right there. That's still a very respectable panel. But if you want those fancy rainbow juicy colors or whatever you want to call it, then yeah, OLED is uh, definitely the way to go. Quite expensive. But even the band, like I said, it just feels so good. Very rugged kind of rubber. It feels nicer than... This feels more flimsy, floppy, the Garmin band. Much more blah, 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 blah. This one feels more rigid. Like I could... See, look at that. Whereas this one... Right? Anyways, I just kind of wanted to share my experience here because I don't do these too often and you can probably see why that is. I'm just not set up for it. I got to move the camera around constantly. I got rain in the background. People are going to think I'm cooking bacon. It's not the most professional because I'm more of a gamer, like I said. But uh, yeah, so there it is. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It does greatly help support the channel with the algorithm. And if you didn't like the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs down. As always, I'll bend it in half, twist it, break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally, that'd be great. But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care. And maybe I'll see some of you in the next one. Bye for now.